There were poll tax demonstrators even in Cheltenham today on the eve of the imposition of the tax in England and Wales. At a conference for leading Conservatives there, the Prime Minister spent much of her speech defending the community charge. And speaking before the events in Trafalgar Square, she condemned the violence of earlier demonstrations. In recent weeks, Marxist agitators and militants have organised mob violence. Policemen have been punched, councillors assaulted, and shopkeepers have seen their shops looted. There have been demonstrations at town halls across the country as the poll tax has been set in recent months. They've been organised and sometimes violent. Before today's demonstration, anti-poll tax protesters blotted out the noon bulletin on a London news station, transmitting their own message. We would urge everyone to join with the mass campaign of non-payment and finish off the poll tax once and for all. The Labour leader Neil Kinnock, today in South Wales, has in the past distanced himself from violent and illegal actions over the poll tax, describing those involved as toy town revolutionaries. And a Labour MP at the rally said the violence today was the work of anarchists who attacked the police. The demonstration's organisers have been quick to condemn the activities. Of course we don't condone that. We condemn it totally like most working class people would do. People sitting watching those scenes would be very, very angry at this small minority of people so have what, marred, went wrong? what has been a marvellous demonstration. So what went wrong? What went wrong basically was we had two or 250 of these individuals who were intent on causing trouble. In Glasgow there was a huge and peaceful rally to mark the first anniversary of the introduction of the poll tax to Scotland. The organisers claimed it was the largest grassroots demonstration against government policy since the 1920s and the Liberal Democrat leader was speaking to a conference in Gala Shields. Well, in Scotland, you've had the poll tax for a year or so, and I can't see any signs of its popularity here. If the Tory re Tories really wanted to get rid of the unpopular poll tax, they would first have to get rid of the unpopular Prime Minister. Tonight, London's West End shows the scars the day before the poll tax is in place. <laughs>